How many of us ever get the chance to break away? To cut loose from our jobs, routines, and our daily stresses? How many people live their lives and never really know who they are or what they're capable of? 34F. About the boy they play. What would you do with the chance to put reality on hold? Our first official full day here. Live the adventure you've always dreamed of. It's been nonstop. Go, go, go. For three complete strangers. I felt it was meant to happen. A lot of times life is just about trying. The adventure became their reality. My stomach's in knots. <sighs> oh, my God. How much would you risk? We got lost. It's getting dark out. How far would you go? They don't know where we are. To break free and find out what you're really made of. We got held under. Really nerve-wracking. We left a bit of flesh and some blood. It got kind of scary. Follow the journey. We've all got a lot of fight in us. Embrace the change. I'm kind of figuring out how much fight I have in me. For the adventure of a lifetime. That one topped them all. And welcome to The Kiosk Presents. It's summertime and there's nothing better to do in the summer than get involved with some summer adventure. And oh boy, do we have some adventurous guys today. Professional surfer Dave Kalama, and his protege, Luke Rogers, who happens to be the brother of Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, talking about their new show, Clean Break, which is on Fuel TV. Hi, guys. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Hey, tell us about Clean, Clean Break. It sounds like a pretty darn exciting show about surfing and some other exciting water adventures. Yeah, absolutely. Clean Break is, uh, is the ultimate like thrill seeker th thrill seeker adrenaline junkie kind of a kind of a show it's it's myself and two guys i didn't meet until until we all ended up in hawaii mm -hmm. and so three strangers go on this absolute bucket list adventure in the hawaiian islands and throughout our throughout our adventure we we have a few you know we've got guys like dave kalama these, these hawaiian legends these you know pro surfers and and just absolute like beasts in the water like this guy that <laughs> they come they come through and they, they show us you know their trade like dave is the premier stand-up you know paddleboard pioneer really and um we go paddleboarding with dave we jump out of airplanes we swim with sharks we surf with pros on the north shore uh we mountain bike down a volcano we run with rocks underwater it's uh Wow. It's quite the, uh, quite the adventure. That's crazy. Oh, it sounds really exciting. Now, Dave, tell me, uh, you know, we're here in, in Niagara Falls, Buffalo, New York, and, of course, we don't have ocean waves or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Is there any, is stand-up paddle surfing something can, that can be done anywhere, or is it really necessary to be by the ocean? Or tell me about stand-up paddle surfing. Stand-up paddle um, surfing is, can be done anywhere. A mm -hmm. Any body of water, you know, just a little bigger than your board, is good enough to learn, and uh, that's kind of the beauty of the sport. It's very accessible to a lot of people. You can do it under very controlled circumstances initially, and then from there you can bite off as much as you want to chew, um, from riding big waves to running rivers, uh, paddling across channels in between the Hawaiian Islands. Um, it's really limitless what you can do with the sport, but uh, it, it is very very easy to get into initially if you want to start that way. Uh, Luke, on the other hand, he started at the top of the mountain, so uh, you'll see in the show how, how tricky it can be, but uh, he did great. That's great. Hey, uh, uh, Luke, I, I, would, I would bet, I, I know you're the brother of Aaron, of, uh, Aaron Rodgers from the Packers and everything else, but I bet around the dinner table you guys are talking more about surfing than anything else, aren't you? Uh, you, you know, yeah, these, day, these days surfing and, and, you know, kind of these adventures uh, make the conversation. There's always going to be some football talk, uh, sure. you know, because my youngest brother Jordan's at Vanderbilt, quarterback mm -hmm. in the SEC. Uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah, sur surfing, especially after a clean break, you know, the people from Schick were amazing, and they, you know, really gave me an opportunity, me and Steven and Chase, to kind of push, our, push ourselves, really find out what we had inside of us and kind of push the envelope as far as, you know, adventure sports and, and some da some dangerous things in the water. It's a yeah. Hey, Luke, what what was the most this? I, I would think it would be diving with sharks, but what was the scariest moment you had in your adventures here? Uh, you know what? The shark diving was was a little bit hairy. I, I actually thought it was really, really, really fun. More than more than scary. Uh, maybe the scariest thing, most hairy thing. Anything we did in the water, surf-wise, was crazy because you're in Hawaii. The surf's big and heavy. Mm -hmm. There's rocks. You know, you're. You're no longer on top of the food chain when you're out in the water. <laughs> and, you know, the Hawaiian, Hawaiian surf is, is legendary for being big, unpredictable, and, you know, some of the more dangerous places to, to surf. And, you know, I, I like to surf, but I'm, you know, no means like a Dave Kalama. And mm -hmm. to get out there sort of as a novice, uh, you know, you, you kind of feel like you're, you're putting your life in, you know, 
in jeopardy or yeah in, in, in my in, hands in, in, in his hands exactly <laughs> well well guys i'll tell you dave and luke and, and you ought to bring your two buddies up to you know we're only a few minutes from niagara falls here i could think of some great water adventures we could probably get you guys involved in up here <laughs> i'm sure you could <laughs> <laughs> but uh well hey the show sounds really exciting it's called clean break it's on uh the fuel tv network i also understand you've got episodes on yahoo yeah that's correct, and if you go to facebook.com slash hydro experience, you can get all the latest info on it. Great, and I understand they've got some prizes and some fun things they can do there as well. Absolutely. Yeah, they're giving away a, uh, an experience like ours, like a clean break experience. They're giving one away to a lucky winner, so someone's going to get a chance to kind of do some of the same stuff we did, like on an epic Hawaiian you know, bucket list adventure. So all that stuff can happen at facebook.com slash hydro experience. And yeah, wow. check us out. Definitely check us out. Wednesday nights. Uh, Fuel TV. All right. Well, it sounds great. Guys, Dave Kalama, Luke Rogers, uh, we're looking forward to seeing the show, and uh, thanks for joining us today on The Kiosk Presents. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Brian. The whole point of training is to do something outdoors, so I might as well train outdoors. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Coconuts. <laughs> I'll take somebody out. The ocean is very humbling. It's not easy out there. It's a tricky spot. If you can surf here, you can surf anywhere. Hopefully, we all just had fun. Cheers. <laughs> Pleasure, guys. Cheers. All right.